He said that ain't play. I can see the pack. I know what it's really about. I'll question you before I question if the perk wreck. Wow. It sounds like to me that it's adding more clarity to it. The presence in the vocals is there. Um, some harmonics is being added to to the whole track. Uh, let's see how the how this thing actually works. It's John T. Boy. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Jonathan. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here with a new video for you guys. Before we hop into the topic of today's video, I would like for you to please subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of new videos when I upload them. And also give this video a thumbs up. Smash that like button for your boy. It will help this channel out a lot. I really appreciate it. For those who recently subscribed, we have finally reached 500 subscribers. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I got more videos coming along the way. Um, I'm so excited. I'm back at full health. Uh, last video that I, that I uploaded about six, seven days ago, I announced that I tested positive for COVID, but now I tested negative. I'm good. Praise God for that. Um, everything seems to be looking pretty well. I don't know if you guys watched my other video where I mentioned about certain tips that I like to give myself and all to make it through the day, especially if I'm working in, a, in and out of the studio how I like to brighten up my day by meditating, drinking green juices, working out, you know, all that good stuff to help you with your physical, spiritual, and mental health. I found out recently I'm no longer pre-diabetic. I'm losing weight. I lost about 10 pounds. Uh, my numbers are getting pretty good. Tomorrow, possibly today, if this video gets released today, which might be a Friday the 22nd, or I think so, yeah. I'm going to be going for my MRI scan to see if I can get any updates on how's the tumor. Hopefully it didn't grow back. But hey, if there's a will, there's a way. There's always a way. There's always a, a solution to every problem, um, which I, you know, believe. But um, I'm going to come continue to keep fighting this. You guys keep me in your prayers. But until further ado, let's get into this new plugin that just came out. I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm, I'm sort of late on it. But I want to see what the hype was all about. It's called the God Particle. We're going to look into it, so stay tuned. All right, guys, this is the God Particle plugin. It looks pretty nice. The GUI doesn't look bad. It looks pretty straightforward. But anybody who would use this for the first time will try to figure out how to use it. All right, guys, this was made by Jason Joshua, 15 time Grammy winning engineer. He's well known for working with artists like Chris Brown, Whitney Houston, Jay-Z, Beyonce. Uh, I, I'm, I'm missing out a lot of artists right now, but he worked with a lot of people back in the day. And for him to win a Grammy 15 times, to let you know, that lets you know that this guy is a, a pretty big deal. He created this, and he calls it the God Particle. And I saw some other engineers, you know, give their two, two cents on it. So I'm playing a song right here called uh, It's Actually Untitled by one of my clients, Madman Zoo. And I'm going to bypass it back and forth and you guys let me know if you hear any difference. You 50 shots, now you seeing nothing. Before the switch, we knew about bumping. 50. It was 50, but you thought it was 20. Call me energy, turn a nigga lights off. Best time to slide. When it's foggy out, he said that ain't play. I can see the pack. I know what it's really about. I'll question you before I question if the perk wreck. Wow. It sounds like to me that it's adding more clarity to it. The presence in the vocals is there. Um, some harmonics is being added to, to the whole track. Uh, let's see how, the, how this thing actually works. Now, um... As we can see right here, uh, it tells you right at the bottom, this is the input to figure out how much volume you want to add into the mix. And the EQ is a high, a high frequency, mid and lows. Uh, yeah, this right here, this is more like the mix knob. Um, you can add how much you want to add, zero to 
zero to 100 or even 200 put it back to the default now as for, for these right here this is the gain reduction for your highs your mids and your lows that once you play your track back and it starts to hit the squares that's actually the sweet spot according to jason joshua that he thinks that this is where your mixes should be hitting you know during playback so in that way it hits the sweet spot and we get that perfect mix the limiter you can add this to it uh me as a mix and master engineer for those who mix and they want to send their their tracks off to a master engineer put it to zero do not add any limiting on it and for the output that's the uh the volume you want to add outside of your, uh, your mix as well so there you can side chain it there's a preset you can create your own and i i can't recall from another engineer stated that there's going to be another version or probably another plugin related to this or similar to this that's going to give other big engineers their own presets on here as well so for instance for these sweet spots right here according to jason joshua other engineers other big engineers and they can actually put their own presets on here to make people realize that okay this is what i think where the sweet spots will be hitting so let's give it a shot to see if it makes any much of a difference i have this on my mix bus so let's see you 50 shots, now you seeing nothing. Before the switch, we knew about bumping. It was 50. As you can see, the lows are, are, are hitting exactly where it's supposed to be, but the high and mids, not not so much. So let's see if we could make a difference here. You 50 shots, now you seeing nothing. Before the switch, we knew about bumping. It was 50, but you thought it was 20. Call me energy, turn a nigga lights off. Best time to slide when it's rain or when it's foggy out. He said that ain't play. I can see the pack. I know what it's really about. I'll question you before I question if the perk wreck. Said it just to peep, don't mind me, I'm just fishing. Peeping all this bullshit got me constantly pulling my reel in. Fucked up with it, so when I went, I fell. Okay. Now, uh, me. I do I do add a limiter on my, my mix bus just to bring those dynamics back because when, once you mix mixing you have to add some space for your vocals to sit in because this is a two track beat and you got to take some of the frequencies out to lay your vocals in there to create a pocket and sometimes that kind of uh, destroys the dynamics dynamics meaning you want you want to make sure that the peaks of your beat and your and your vocals are hitting exactly the same sonically and as far as I know, if I if I have a beat that is not so heavy on dynamics or is not having enough harmonics clarity in it, I do add a limiter towards the end of my mix and I bring them back just a little bit. Um, I did say this in one of my other previous videos that I do add a limiter every now and then. You're gonna have to add a limiter, but most engineers don't believe in adding a limiter. You add, you add a limiter for mastering. That would be the last plugin in your. And your mixing chain, your vocal chain, whatever you want to call it, to actually master. You want to bring those dynamics all the way back. You want to make sure it, it's loud and fat. So uh, as for this, at this particular song here, I don't know. I don't. I don't normally do this because I don't believe it's necessary. But we're gonna do it for the sake of this video. You fit this size, now you seeing nothing. Before the switch, we knew about bumping. 50. It was fifty, but you thought it was twenty. Call me energy, turn a nigga lights off. Best time to slide when it's rain or when it's foggy out. He said that ain't play. I can see the pack. I know what it's really about. I'll question you before I question if the perk wreck. Said it just to peep, don't mind me, I'm just fishing. Peeping all this bullshit got me constantly pulling my reel in. Fucked up with it, so when I win, I feel like I ain't winning. Dog times all the time, so when I sin, I tell myself that I ain't sinning. Now, now, even though the mids and the highs are not hitting exactly where, where they're supposed to be, I mean, sometimes less is more, and it also depends on what you're hearing. It doesn't sound too bad at all. I really do. I really wouldn't need to use this at all. But for the sake of this video, we want to see how it sounds. If you, I was, I was told that this part of the video right here, you know, this is the mix. This is the amount of mix. This is the the amount of processing you want to add to the to the whole entire mix with this plugin. So if I play it back. You fit this size, now you seeing nothing. Before the switch, we knew about bumping. It was 50, but you thought it was 20. Call me energy, turn a nigga lights off. Best time to slide when it's rain or when it's foggy out. He said that ain't play. I can see the pack. I know what it's really about. I'll question you before I question if the perk wreck. Said it just to peep, don't mind me, I'm just fishing. 
Peeping all this bullshit got me constantly pulling my reel in. Fucked up with it, so when I win, I feel like I ain't winning. Now, for this song right here, I think it sounds good without it. But because I do have another limiter on it, which is bypass. But I'm going to go ahead and add that along with this plug in. We're going to see if the mids and highs are going to be hitting exactly where it's supposed to be, according to Jason. You 50 shots, now you seeing nothing. Before the switch, we knew about bumping. It was 50, but you thought it was 20. Call me energy, turn a nigga lights off. Best time to slide when it's rain or when it's foggy out. He said that ain't play. I can see the pack. I know what it's really about. I question you before I question if the perk rep said it just to peep it on my. I mean, it doesn't seem like a bad plugin at all. I mean, I think it'd be useful for for the average engineer. But uh, as for me, I really don't have no use for it. I mean, no offense to Jason at all. I mean, this this was a great idea for any other engineers, for engineers or, or even artists that have trouble mixing their own music. I recommend trying this out, you know. Uh, it's out for $119, I believe. Um, it seems pretty nice. Um, it has its own limiter, so even if I were to mix my own songs before the mastering stage, I, I would use something like this if I, had, if, if I weren't using any of my in my old fashioned mixing techniques with other limiters this seems pretty cool this seems like a great idea you guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section below put your questions and comments right that right down there uh do you think this is worth it you know uh i've seen other uh engineers make videos of it and you know i want to see what the hype was all about you think it's worth it you know it's all depends on you it also depends on the viewer the engineers the artists the producer, you guys let me know in the comment section below. Put it in the comments. <laughs> Once again, it's your boy John T. I'm signing off. You guys have a blessed one. I love you. God loves you more. Stay blessed and peace out.